Okay, I'm going to do a quick video. I only got 14% battery on how I treat bravids. So I take um, a 16 ounce uh, jug of SNS 203 versus the $100 gallon. And I mix it into five one gallon jugs. Just dump it in, you know, kind of eyeball it as I'm dumping it, whatever. Just evenly into five gallon jugs. Add water. I pull this tube up right there and then I feel after obviously draining the reservoir out which is what I'm doing right here flushing um, and then I pull that up that's been had all the water drained out of it and then I open up one of the tubes and then I dump each one in one at a time um, just like this so I've already done pretty much all of them and then after that I take a hose because my pump will fit in there and I I'm doing this all alone this time, so it's a little bit more difficult for me um, to treat. But um, this is what I do is then I siphon it out of each one after about a 10 minute treatment and back into these jugs right here so that I can treat the next tube. That way I don't have to fill the reservoir up with water, run it through my pumps, run it through my lines because these two tubes right here, they're not even infected. Uh, this inline filter over there that's connected to that pump. Um, that filters all the aphids up so it can't get into these ones unless they come up out of the tubes, crawl over, or they turn into flyers and uh, fly onto it and get in it. So, um, or if the roots grow down into the reservoir through that hole and then the aphids can crawl down into the reservoir and then if these ones have grown down into the reservoir, um, like what they're trying to do right there, but I've been getting them under pretty good control. So they were only really short, they weren't in the reservoir, they didn't reach the water. Um, then they'll crawl up that, of course. But other than that, there's no other way for them to get in there unless I put them in there or um, something like that. So these ones were all infected, so it doesn't really matter um, because I'm sucking it off the bottom and all the aphids float up at the top once it's been treated. So it sucks off the bottom. The ones that do get in there are already dead and who cares because you're not going to completely eliminate the whole entire aphid problem with SNS. So that's absolutely impossible but you'll knock them so far back. So maybe the one or two live ones that you do transfer into a tube that's already infected, who gives a crap? Because um, it saves you like $80 a treatment and they're already infected and you're not gonna 100% successfully treat them. So then is what I do is I come over here, once I've done, so I've just, just finished that far tube over there. So then is what I do is I come over here like this Come around, everything's all trellised up. And here's my siphoning pipe, by the way. So it's just that little piece of tube right there. And then that just siphons it back into the gallon jugs. So then I take this, I'm running out of battery, so I'm trying to be quick. And I hope I don't give nobody a seizure with this damn video. Push the tube back down, like so. Uh, as far as I can get it without it dropping in there like that and then I take the hose I kink it and my nozzle on it isn't working right obviously it's turned off and there's water spraying out of it and then I take it and I spray out the tubes with water and I rinse them all really good and flush out the tube and I seal everything up and I get ready and then all, all the water's pumping outside right now um, so I'm not going to be able to do that flush on this tube with one hand, but it gives you the idea of how I do it. Then I um, fill it up with water once I'm completely done, or I don't fill it up, I pump it all out. This cardboard tube right here slides underneath the reservoir to hold it up since it drains at that end over there. You can see the hose is going outside, it's connected on a drain valve off the other side of it. And that will make it so that it sucks everything out completely and there's a pump hooked up to it outside. And um, then once that's done and I've sprayed the inside of the reservoir out and it's flushed properly, then I fill it up with water, I turn it on, I let the water do its thing overnight, come in here the next day and I add the nutrients after it started eating again from the cold water treatment and the SNS-203. So that's how I treat for aphids. All right, everybody, have a good night.